All right, so I'm gonna show you how to program these. When you get them from the factory, Channel mode. you turn it on, you hear voices, you got the lights, and the screen, the display specifically, I don't know if you can see that. One, two, one, three. It shows you just the number. You don't have any names for the channels, so you have to remember a frequency if you're gonna to try to know where one, you're at. Four. And listen to that voice every time. So I'm gonna show you how to change all that. First, Peel back the dust cover, put in the adapter, and then we turn it back on volume all the way up. That allows Chirp to communicate. So then we go to the computer, open Chirp, and on the top, under the menu that says radio, download from radio, select the vendor, which in this case is Bayafeng and the model is UV82, hit OK and it will clone anything that's currently in the radio onto your desktop. So after that's finished, here's what comes from the factory. We don't need any of these for anything, so we're going to open the file that we made previously, which I sent to you guys. and it'll come up in a separate tab. Here's the tab from our radio on the left and then here's the new tab that opened. So we select the top line then on our keyboard we hold the shift key and press the down arrow until we've selected all of the active frequencies. There's 44 of them. Then we hit control C to copy come over here to line 0 and then hit control V and then select all. Now all of our frequencies are in the tab for our radio and then go to settings battery saver off beep not enabled display mode name display mode B name standby LED off receive LED off Transmit LED off, Roger Beep we do not enable, and we go to Advanced Settings, Dual Watch enabled so we can listen to two frequencies at once, Dual Watch Priority A so we can listen to something we don't want to transmit on with channel B, but still hear it, Voice Off, Automatic key lock enabled, so you're not accidentally changing the channel in your pocket. Squelch tail eliminate off. Um, we enable this, we enable all menus. These bottom two are for the $80 Bayafeng Tech brand UV82. Those are your extra features, they're basically meaningless, just ignore them. Uh, for the welcome menu, I always do something custom so everybody can tell their radios apart. We enable VHF transmit, UHF transmit, they should be already enabled. And channel 11 for A, channel 24 for B, and there's one other thing I can't recall. FM radio, that's it. Change it to a local station so if you hit it by accident you're at least hearing music instead of static. I think that's about it. Go back to our main menu. Radio. Upload to radio. All of this will be the same. Hit OK. As soon as it's finished, the radio will restart on its own. And I turn it off, pull the plug, reseal the dust cover, and when I turn it on, it won't have a backlight, but if you can see it, it'll have the custom message. Start on FRS channel 11, and then 24 on the bottom is the McKean County Police Dispatch. 
So, if you don't want to listen to the police dispatch, now that our radio automatically locks, hold on the bottom right the picture of the key until it disappears from next to the battery. Then hit exit. It will go to the bottom, which is the B channel, and you can change it to something else. There's the Bradford Ham, for example. Hit exit again to get back up to FRS 11, and then it will automatically lock, or you can hold it in to lock it. Either way is fine. Now this radio you can transmit on either frequency because it has two push to talk. So if I wanted to talk on the bottom one, I would just hit the bottom push to talk. KB3 GGQ. And that's all we need to know. Let me know if you have any questions.